Hello and good day. Today, we are going to talk about another lesson in English language. But before that, let us first have our prayer. against the unseen and seen enemies. Lead us to the pathway of righteousness without stepping others. Pour out your superabounding grace and blessings among us. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This time, students, let us listen to one of your classmates as he presents to us the place he liked best. Are you ready now? That's good. Stephen, please proceed. The Caramandel Peninsula is a summer holiday favorite among New Zealanders. A collection of picturesque coastal towns, campsites, surf spots, and fishing locations are serious assets. Gems such as Cathedral Cove and Hot Water Beach are bonuses. Thank you very much, Stephen, for your sharing. All right, now let us have our attendance. Monitor, please give us the attendance. Very good. So we are perfect for today. 46 over 46. That's nice to know. Now, let's review. What was the lesson that we have discussed yesterday? Anyone from you? Yes, Imori? Very good, Imori. It's all about active and passive voice. So, how can you differentiate active from passive voice? Anyone from you? That's good. So active and passive voice. We have two types of voices, the active and passive. When we say active, what the subject does. And passive, the focus is on the action. Say for example, in the active voice, Ram killed Raven. When we use it in a passive voice, it becomes Raven was killed by Ram. Thank you very much, Imori, for that answer. Now let us have our objectives for today. Could you please read, Stephen? Objectives. Letter A. Criticize the story based on the information given. Letter B. Share ideas and opinions about the characteristics of Arab people. And compare and contrast the customs of Filipino and Arab. And this time, let us have our game. Are you ready? So our game is entitled, It's Showtime. You're just going to click the raise hand in the Google Meet and share your answer. Are you ready, guys? Okay, I'm so excited. So, the first one is, have you seen a desert? What does it look like? Yes, Sophie. Very good, Sophie. It looks like the sand at a beach. That's nice to know. How about you, Orlando? Yes, Orlando? Wow, it looks like... Oh, it looks like in the Dubai. Mm -hmm, that's good, yes. It could be in Dubai or in the Middle East. Thank you very much, Orlando. How about others? Yes, Enrique. Very good. It cannot be eaten. That's good to know. 
And how about others? Yes? Demon? Oh, it seems like the sand in Boracay. That's good. Have you been to Boracay? Wow. Me, I haven't been to Boracay. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much for your answers, guys. This time, let's have another task. Are you ready? That's good. Let's go. So our task is entitled, Guess What? So let us guess it. How many trees do we have in front of the school? Can you guess it? Anyone from you? Raise your hand in the Google Meet. Yes, Stacy. You think it's 40, 40 trees. Great, thank you, Stacy. How about others? Yes, Ian. 20. Wow, it's too many. 40, 20. Thank you very much, Ian, for that participation. How about others? Yes, Ted. 8. So the correct answer is 7. We got 7 trees in front of the school. Great, please remember that. How about this one? How many trees do we have at the back of the school? Anyone from you? Yes, Ken. Ten. Thank you. How about me? Is me? Six. Thank you very much, me. How about me? Five. Okay, you got it right. We have five trees at the back of the school. Now let us have this one. Word webbing. Use a word web to enumerate all the words that you can relate to the term tree. Anyone? Yes, Stephen. Food, very good. How about you? Demon. Shelter, that's nice. Uh-huh. Mary. Toy. <laughs> okay, toy, that's good. How about Simon? Design, very good. Thank you very much for sharing your answers. I know that you are wondering why we are talking about trees. Well, it is because we are going to talk about the wonder tree, an Arab folktale. So it's reading time. Before we read the story, let us first get to know the characters. So we have Ali Ben. Ali Ben is a great leader of his tribe. He is the only one who welcomed the great sheep with hospitality. We also have Zuleika. She is a wonderful kid, a daughter of Ali Ben, and the reason why there was a wonder tree. We also have Sheikh Ben Nedi. He is a great leader of the other tribe, the visitor of Ali Ben. And lastly, we have the fairy, a kind fairy who helped Zuleika in her problem on what to give the sheep. How many characters do we have? We have four characters. We have Ali Ben, Zuleika, Sheikh Ben Nedi, and the fairy. This time, let us read the story. The Wonder Tree. On the desert of Arabia, there was a tribe ruled by Ali Ben. One evening, his daughter Zuleika ran to him and told him that there was a stranger going to their tribe. The newcomer told them that the great Sheikh Ben Nedi was coming the next day. Everyone was excited for their visitor is a great leader from another tribe. So, they prepared gifts for the coming Sheikh. While everyone is busy preparing, only Zulika sat alone and idle. She has nothing to offer for the Sheikh because her baby camel just died. She went near the great stone and sat there to weep. Suddenly, a misty white figure took a shape of a beautiful fairy. The fairy asked Zuleika why she was crying, and Zuleika told her the reason. The fairy told her that she has more to offer the sheep, and come back tomorrow where her tears fell upon, and she will find something to give the sheep. The next morning, Zuleika came back and found a tree standing. So she told her father. That afternoon, the great sheik came and agreed that Zuleika's gift was the best of all. Arabia blessed the day for they know that the tree will furnish them with food, fiber, and shade. 
later on, I'm going to ask questions based from what you have read. But I know that you're not that really familiar with the story. So, let me share with you a video about the Wonder Tree. The Wonder Tree, an Arabian folk tale. It really is a beautiful movie, right? It says, the greatest gift comes straight from the heart. Now, as what I have promised, we will have 
set of questions to be answered by you. So number one, who would come to visit Ali Ben Ami? Anyone from you? That's great. So it's Sheikh Ben Nadi. Why was the visitor's arrival a matter of excitement for everyone? Yes, Damon? That is right, Damon. It's because he is a leader from another tribe. That is why everyone is really excited to meet him. Let's have number three. What made Zulika sad? Okay, yes, Elena. Yes, because her camel died. That is why she cannot offer any gifts to the king. Let us have number four. Who helped Zuleika find a gift for Sheikh Benedi, their visitor? Who helped her? Anyone? Yes, Mary? It's very good. It's the fairy. What did the people offer Sheikh Benedi as their gifts? Can you give me one? Yes, gold. How about others? Ooh, great animals. That's great. Yes, David. Money. Very good. Number six. Why was Zuliga's gift the best of all? Why do you think her gift is really the best of all? Good morning. What's your answer? Great. You got it right. Because her gift is precious. Her gift comes straight from the heart. It's the tree of life. Very good. Now let us have this one. Impressionable. What can you say about the Arabs, particularly the Arabian family, based on the story that we have read and based from the video that we have seen? Anyone from you? Okay. So Imran said that Arabs are very generous. Yes, I agree with that. They have given gifts to the king even though they don't know the king. They are very generous. How about others? Yes, family oriented. They are loving. That's good, Stefan. Yes, this one. Let's think and reflect. Do Filipinos have the same customs as that of the Arabs? What do you think? Please enumerate two characteristics of Arabs which you consider very Filipino. I will give you two minutes to list down the characteristics that you think or you consider the same with Filipino. Alright, time's up. It's already two minutes. Can you give me two characteristics? Yes, Jesse. Alright, they are very generous and they are very hospitable. Very good. How about others? Okay, let us have yeah. They are rich. <laughs> they are rich. And then the other one is they love their neighbors. Very good. Thank you very much for your answers, students. Now, let us have expressing your thoughts. What does this quotation from the story imply? Explain this by showing a symbol and a description, and then you're going to present it afterwards. You just have to share it to us. Okay? The greatest gift comes straight from the heart. I will give you two minutes to explain this one. Please think and do well. Two minutes starts now. All right, time's up. Let us have your answers. Please share it with us. The greatest gift comes straight from the heart. Explain this by showing a symbol and a description. Who wants to answer first? Well, let us have Lin Lee. Lin Lee, please show us your answer. Please open your camera and show us your picture. Wow. It's a heart. So for you, the symbol is a heart. Heart equals sincere. Very good. Thank you very much, Lily. Let's have another one. Yes, praises. What is your answer? 
your answer is a ball pen. Why ball pen? Okay, because letters or love letters are symbolic and sincere. Have our evaluation. You have to get one inch sheet of paper and answer this one. You just have to check your own paper, of course, because we are having the online class. So, number one, give two characters in the story. And then, number two, if you were Zuleika, what gift would you like to give for Beth Nettie? And why? I will give you two minutes to answer this. Two minutes is up. Who wants to answer? So, the correct answer is... Let me show you in here. Just two characters. We got Ali Ben, Zuleika, Sheik Ben Nedi, and the fairy. And let's have number two. If you were Zuleika, what gift would you like to give for Ben Nedi and why? What's your answer? Anyone? Please type your answer on our chat box. Wow. Gold. Bracelet, slipper, shoes, wow, camel, horse, and what is this? Oh, you're going to give money. Thank you very much for your answer. That's three points. A total of five points. Let's move on to your assignment. Using the Venn diagram, compare yourself as a Filipino with the Arab. Be guided by the question below. Write it in a one half sheet of paper and then you're going to give it to your courier so that I can check it. Okay? Number one, what trait of the Arabs and yourself? Now let us check who got perfect in our quiz. We are 46 who got 5 points. Wow, 43. That's good. How about four points? Okay, we got three students. So a total of 46. Very good. Well, thank you very much for joining me until this hour. I hope that you learned a lot and see you next time. Goodbye, students.